The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Electronics company LG South Africa expects to increase its manufacturing output to 320,000 units this year at its only manufacturing facility in South Africa. Sashni Moodley has the story. LG recently invited the media on a factory tour of its 12,000 square meter manufacturing facility, where LG production manager Nolan Pillay revealed that the company was planning to increase its production output to 320,000 units this year. The facility, which opened in 2011, produced 280,000 units last year, and the electronics producer now hopes to increase production to stay ahead of the competition in the electronics industry. What we're planning to do is, of course, increase our headcount. Um, we're looking at adding another 10 people to the line, you know, dependent on volume. So we'll obviously base that uh, based on model, and we'll make a calculated decision as to how we need to assess, uh, how we need to add operators to the line and in which sections we need to add them. So that is one of the ways, you know, we also try and do innovative things like um, screw machines, you know, automatic screw machines. So that will help us speed up the line, uh, increase our output uh, by 10%. I think we're quite innovative, um, you know, in terms of if you look at the market and how we're producing, and I'm talking from a manufacturer point of view. We, we innovative in, in other, cast, other competitors use jig lines uh, and we do a flow line, we do water stream as I've shown you on the line. We do roughly 12 seconds per unit coming off the line. So we're quite competitive in that aspect, you know, our cost competitive is quite low. Um, and we, we try and stay ahead of the competition also by training our operators. I think we, we, we emphasize a lot of focus on our operators and making sure that they are skilled, uh, right skilled in, in, in the right positions. We send quite a few operators and engineers to Korea on a yearly basis, uh, you know, just upskilling them, giving them uh, a competitive edge competitive to other companies. So yeah, that would be one of our ways that we stay out of our competition. When asked about the state of the local television market, Pelé said that from an LG perspective it was growing and added that there were significant opportunities in the South African markets. What we're trying to do is obviously tap into the high-end market, you know. Uh, we're seeing that obviously a lot of uh, Chinese brands and a lot of other competitors are coming at the low end. But in terms of high-end products, we, that's where we want to focus. You know, we believe in our product is a high-end product. As I've shown you, our quality facilities are quite high um, and quite, quite stringent in terms of our testing processes. So from that aspect, I think the market's definitely growing. There's huge opportunities in the South African market. The consumer's definitely looking at at high-end products, you know, they're looking at size. We, of course, as you know, we, we, we created 105 inch UHD. So we're quite competitive as well in that, in that aspect. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.